Ernest Frankel, his friends call him Ernie, has been a writer his whole life. From Chapel Hill to the Marines to Hollywood. And he's been at it a while. I'm 96. I'm going to be 96 in a month from now, so I will accept 96. It commands more respect. But it's more than just his age that commands respect. Frankel graduated from UNC Chapel Hill, where he wrote for the Daily Tar Heel. He served in the Marines during World War II. After the war, Frankel moved to Los Angeles, where he landed his big break in Hollywood. Here we are at the Hollywood sign, an icon of the film and television industry Ernie Frankel worked in. Ernie's neighbor and friend, Arthur Marks, who was a producer with CBS, suggested he try his hand at screenwriting. This led to Ernie's first big break in Hollywood, a screenwriting job on Perry Mason. Ernie would go on to write and produce shows, from I Spy to Mannix, Mod Squad to Nashville 99, over a long and successful career in Hollywood. Frankel has fond memories of his very first interview for Perry Mason with the author of the original novels, Earl Stanley Gardner. He said, uh, have you ever written for television before? And I thought he was gonna, I was going to get crucified. And I said, no, I, I've never written a television script. And he said, um, you're an honest man you, and, and you're hired. Frankel has held a number of jobs, from journalist to novelist. But there's a reason he found his calling in film, where he worked as a writer and producer for 20 years. Film is participatory. The audience is there, and it grabs you. And you're creating a new reality. You're making people go to places that they never could go before. I just didn't do this to earn a book. I've created art. It may not be fine art, but it's art. Frankel is a man who has lived a very successful life, but it wasn't without sacrifice. And those sacrifices started right after his college years. The urgent letters from the draft board back home, the last farewells as we dragged our suitcase toward the bus station. But no matter how or when we left, Someday, each of us would find the way back to Chapel Hill. Some of his friends and classmates never did make it home. So Frankel has never forgotten his luck, not just in surviving the war, but accomplishing so much in his lifetime. My luck has been to be with people who have literally changed my life. Uh, the Marine Corps changed my life. Chapel Hill changed my life. It's remarkable when you come to think of it. This Tar Heel made his name in California, but he never lost his Carolina and writing roots. In Hollywood, I'm Colleen Brown reporting.